Welcome back to Disco Balls Golf Channel, where today we are doing a drone fly through of Swampy Acres Disc Golf Course in New Orleans, Louisiana. And typically with a drone fly through, I tend to skip all the uh, in between spots, you know, as far as the typically just care about T pad to the basket. But this is the second wonkiest layout I've ever played. So today I'm including the, you know, traversal area from the tees to the basket so it'll be a little little different than normal but uh, I think you'll understand what I mean as we get into it so starting on hole one hole one of this 12 hole layout starts you out pretty reasonably with a 427 foot par 4 that uh, goes through these trees there is a high route if you have superpower but usually you're gonna be laying up to this area here this little clearing Give yourself a little skip hyzer or something, uh, even a spike hyzer, to get over these trees or past, past that last little line and to the basket. Now, here's where things get weird. Hole two from the basket is actually down this long trail. It's probably a couple hundred, hell, maybe 100 yards, 120 yards instead of feet. To hole two, this par three that goes over the uh, aids to navigation yard, and over this this barbed wire fence, and then out to this walking track. And the wind is never cooperative here, so pretty annoying. But hole three's T pad, <laughs> butthole, huh? As we speed this up, uh, hole three's T pad right back there. Yeah, way up there. And hole three then goes directly over number two's basket, which collateral damage anyone? 526 feet, somehow a par five. Uh, I thought that was a typo or something when I first played it, but that's how it shows up on U-Disc. So over two's basket, over four's tee pad. Yep, <laughs> it's just tons of crossfire here. And uh, what should be, a, at a par four at most is a par five here. So if you're not getting eagle, it is sad and tragic. Remember hole four? Yep, we're walking back. So hole three is basket in the line of four is fire. Hole f you know, four is tee shot in the line of three is fire. This is a reasonable par four, 456 feet. Uh, over the walking path is the most direct route, but it is, uh, a turnover can, can flex out over the left side or a lefty. You can just throw one, throw one straight. Yeah, hole five T there. A reasonable walk from four's basket, although five then takes you 329 feet over these trees, over the levee wall to the basket. So you're basically aiming at those pipes on the wall there and just throwing whatever you can that will hopefully get there it's a uh, it's really kind of a crapshoot but you're also throwing over sixes tee pad so more crossfire hole number six is a 329 foot par three reasonable pretty challenging it's a good par three i think you're throwing from high down to low which is fun you got to get it between these trees there are different routes uh forehand backhand and uh and then over to seven which as you're leaving six and going to seven you are crossing four's line of play so uh more crossfire number seven is a par five again probably shouldn't be because you're just going straight again over over four's basket out to here somewhere then throw something low or skippy try and just get under these trees to access the green the thing with this though is like if you don't get distance off the tee it can be really challenging to get past the trees and give yourself an eagle which should be a four again uh not par five worthy in my opinion hole eight is across the parking lot fortunately no crossfire from random discs so nice perk and hole eight's actually a fun par three uh left side's kind of blocked off but sometimes you can throw low there's a spike hyzer route here, or just throw a big high stall shot, 251 feet. Uh, for the right-handed player, just a big high backhand that, depending on the wind, drift towards the basket. 
The path there is conveniently located to scuff the shit out of your discs. Not exactly my favorite feature. And we get to number nine, which is uh, a hole that is terribly designed on a normal day. And then this trailer got parked. And uh, 312 feet, there is kind of this weird flip up forehand line, but with this trailer, it's basically you're going for par. There's no way to access anything. I mean, a sky thrower maybe might get up near this tree somewhere, but it's a crapshoot. So until that trailer gets moved, uh, par city population, anyone hoping to score decently on this hole. So number 10, another reasonable par three. 299 feet uh, it's a big spike hyzer forehand backhand left hand right hand doesn't really matter there are lots of ways to access this uh, including through the trailer window if you're accurate enough uh, please don't break the trailer <laughs> if you ever play this course uh, you'll need uh, some sort of access because it's on a NASA base to, uh, technically Hole number 11 345 feet Decently designed overall, kind of on the long side, but it's just pretty much straight away. There are these hills that are very obnoxious for uh, the low line, but other than that, what you see is what you get. It's right there in front of you. And now, as I mentioned, hole number 12, it's only a 12 hole layout. This I think is a reasonable par four, maybe on the easy side. It's 498 feet, and if you throw one straight, you can land it around here, 300 to 320 feet. Leave yourself another 200 feet to the basket. Super reasonable par four, and uh, one that you should be getting if you have 300 feet of power. So previously I mentioned it's a wonky layout, and that is because there are 10 places where your play of a hole crosses another hole. And uh, it is ridiculous if you end up with more than two groups out on the course at the same time uh, because there's just so many opportunities for misplays especially amongst kind of novice players so yeah this is uh, very intriguing as far as the way it's set up with that said it is still a fun and challenging course on this layout there is another layout the worst I've ever seen and we'll come back to that at some point and a, a layout that I actually helped set up. So, as always, thank you for watching, and hopefully, I see you on the course.